the individual who was very instrumental in ensuring that this became a focus of, uh, uh, of our work as we were trying to recover from some pretty significant financial challenges um, and who led all of that work is our own Melanie Harris. And so, Melanie, thank you for, thank you, thank you for the push. Um, and, the, and it goes without saying that I want to thank our capital department. I saw Danielle here earlier, Danielle Floyd, who was here earlier, because what you've done in these rooms back here, because the last time I went, I thought they were just storage rooms um, of like the old um, VHS. You know how you have VHS and the, the size of them? And just imagine that whole room filled with nothing but VHS. And not in such an orderly manner either. So, um, but I wanted to thank Air Capital Programs for the work to prepare uh, this space as well. So with that, I uh, thank you. I uh, hope you will enjoy uh, the short program that we have. We are very excited to relaunch PSTV as a 24-7 uh, streaming service that provides our students with the ability to produce and then share all of their student-created content. So with that, would you please uh, join me in welcoming to the microphone a chair of the School Reform Commission, Marjorie Neff. Good morning, everyone. I was telling Bill before we started, this is really going to challenge my coordination because I've got to hold my, my notes. I didn't realize there were teleprompters. I might have tried that. Um, and speak to you. And, uh, and I'm facing myself on camera, which I hate. Huh? No, I'm good. It, it, it'll be entertaining. So good morning, everyone. Um, I um, thank you for being with us today for the reimagine and relaunch of the PS TV studios. Um, uh, like Dr. Hyde, I'm thrilled to be surrounded by so many partners and supporters of this work. Um, I'm particularly moved when I think about all that this space has become and the potential for what it will be with your continued support and energy. Um, it will provide students with the opportunity to develop what we in the education community call 21st century skills. Um, in addition to subject matter competence, it has become increasingly important to ensure that students have supporting skills that promote success both in college and in the workplace. In particular, this opportunity that PSTV will provide will enable students to develop in three key areas. First, learning and innovation skills such as creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, communication, and collaboration. Second, and probably the most obvious, information, media, and technology skills, so critical today. And third, life and career skills such as flexibility, adaptability, initiative, self-direction, social and cultural, cross-cultural um, cross competence, uh, productivity, accountability, leadership, and responsibility. Uh, the PST, PSTV studio that we're standing in is the kind of resource that will promote these 21st century skills and can provide the kind of experiences that motivate students to master essential subject matter. Um, it's also a space that will provide students with the experiences that motivate them and for some of them will be their bridge into careers in broadcasting, journalism, the arts, or technology. I suspect that every one of the adults in this room has had, the ex has had an experience that pushed you in the direction of the career path you're on today. <clears throat> and I would also wager to say that many of those experiences did not take place in a traditional classroom setting. Uh, for, for me, it was a month-long internship at West Philadelphia High School. Now, I have to admit, uh, I got involved in it because I wanted to get off campus. And the only way to do so was to sign up for one of these internships. Um, it, it, but it was the catalyst for me. At my freshman year in college, it was the catalyst for me to become an educator. So PSTV will provide many students with that opportunity to see what lies beyond their neighborhood and their classroom. I'd like to thank the incredible team here, and particularly Shelley Wolf, for the work that has happened to revitalize this space and for the work that they will continue to do to engage our students in 21st century learning. So thank you. Thank you. Next we have Mr. Bob Smith from 
Comcast. He's Vice President of Government Affairs at Comcast. So, Mr. Smith, thank you for being here as well. Thank you, Dr. Height. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Height, Chairwoman Neff, Melanie, Shelley, and everyone here who is responsible for this rebirth of a tremendous asset. I could not agree more with comments uh, earlier about career opportunities and awakening. Uh, that I've been in the cable television business for 27 years and it started in a uh, public college studio very much like this. And for some of the older folks in the room, we remember when um, a career after spending time at a high school or college television station meant going to a broadcaster. And that is still a wonderful opportunity. But now, when you learn to produce content, there are so many more vehicles for that content. In marketing, in advertising, the internet has provided so many resources or so many outlets for your creativity. And so congratulations on tapping the resources of the internet by streaming your content and giving the wonderful, talented students of this district the opportunity. I can just say that Comcast is pleased to be a part of this in, in some small way, and uh, we know that the students are going to continue to make everyone in Philadelphia proud of their work. Thank you. Thanks, Bob, and thanks for being here. <clears throat> the next individual is the individual that I talked about earlier, although I think I gave you a, a, a different last name, Craig. It's Craig Santoro, not Craig Satulo, um, but Craig is the Director of Media Instruction uh, from WHYY. Craig, thanks for being here. Thank you. I'll take, I'll take whatever last name I get, it's fine. So I, I understand that I'm, I'm a bit of a guinea pig for this teleprompter, that I'm maybe the first person to use a teleprompter here. I'm, it's also the first time I've used a teleprompter myself, so this is a, a test for me and my eyeglass prescription, and it should be, it's gonna be an interesting show, so bear with me. Um, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Height, uh, and uh, Shelley Wolf, and Phil Ichinaga, and uh, Melanie Harris and, and everybody else here. We're really excited to partner with PSTV. Uh, this is an exciting day uh, for youth media makers in Philadelphia. I hope you've all had a chance to walk around the studio and just see some of the amazing things they have here. There's a drone back there. It's really exciting. I think we're still safe, but it, it is back there. So uh, back in 2014, WHYY was opening a media lab in Swenson Arts and Technology High School. And Dr. Height spoke at that at ribbon cutting, and afterwards he invited uh, myself and our CEO back to, to talk to him because he wanted to, had this plan to reinvigorate PSTV as a student-centered uh, TV channel. And he said, maybe you guys can build some more of these media labs, and then we'll have some content for this channel. Uh, two years later, we are in a partnership now with the school district, putting 27 media labs in Philly schools, uh, and this, channel is real and it's a really I think powerful testament to how an idea can filter up through a big organization and become something that really benefits students. Uh, so the official opening of PSTV is today uh, but a lot of people have been hard at work uh, over the past uh, couple years and, and WHYY has been partnering uh, along the way. Uh, for example, as was mentioned, we partnered with PSTV and the Rendell Center and KYW and uh, the DNC Host Committee and Philadelphia Foundation to, to bring uh, reporters, kid reporters, and teachers to the, the convention this summer. Uh, and this year we're going to be building on that work. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing uh, with PSTV is helping them to launch two TV shows. One is a media arts showcase that's going to feature the best work that's produced throughout kids, uh, throughout the city by kids in, in any organization. Uh, and then also a news program uh, that will build directly on the DNC work where there'll be news clubs in schools uh, that'll be feeding a news program that will be aired out of here uh, at PSTV. Uh, as has been hit on by, by many of the speakers so far, the students who participate in youth media programs learn way more than just how to produce audio and video content. They learn new ways of telling stories. They learn to conduct research and work in teams and to solve problems and organize complex projects. And ultimately, when they've seen these projects through to their conclusions, they have a better sense of themselves as somebody who can accomplish difficult tasks and maybe make a difference in the world. 
Uh, perhaps most importantly, they have an opportunity to weigh in on important discussions that affect them directly as, as young people. So through our Media Labs partnership over the past year, we've taught close to 1,000 kids to, to shoot and edit video and, and help build some of these 21st century skills. This year, we'll likely reach another 2,000 kids and probably another 2,000 or so the year afterwards. And all of these students are producing content. They're all developing their own unique voices. Uh, and uh, most importantly, they're, they're sharing uh, what they feel with the world. And this is just a small fraction of the media makers in Philadelphia. They're everywhere. They're in organizations like Philly Cam uh, and uh, fil you know, throughout the city and in programs that, that probably I haven't even heard of yet. Uh, and PSTV is giving all of these students a chance to have their work seen and their voices heard. So even in today's media landscape, when some of the biggest stars are on Snapchat and YouTube channels and probably some app that I've never heard of, but like every kid in the room right now is currently on, uh, kids still want to see all media, media makers want to see their work on TV. There's a huge power to that. Uh, and because of the efforts of many people in the room today, uh, that's going to be a reality for the kids in the Philadelphia School District. So we're excited to partner on this project. I want to say that everybody we've worked with at the district, the central office here, the principals, the teachers, uh, are all extraordinarily hardworking people. They're clear-headed. They're focused on uh, the well-being of the children. Uh, but the real stars of the work that we do and, and any youth media program does uh, is, of course, the students themselves. And these kids have proven themselves time and again to be thoughtful, hardworking, and passionate about the issues that they care about. Uh, the kids in this school, the kids in this district have a ton to say and a lot of talent. And I just can't wait to see what they're producing uh, for PSTV this year and in the many years to come. Congratulations. Thanks, Frank. I would have been the first one to fall on that. Right. So, Craig, that was awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and the, the first time we did teleprompters, it went as following, as the following. We, had a, we uploaded an app on a computer, set the computer up on a box on the table, um, and then the guy who was recording it got on the table behind the computer as we were reading um, through the, through the um, material. So this, the, the teleprompters are a, a tremendous asset, especially when you have content that long. So, but thank you, Craig. This, that was fantastic and great use of the teleprompters. Thank you for that. The next individual who's going to be speaking to us is the individual who has been putting this space and this program together over the past year. So Shelley Wolf. Good morning. Thank you, everybody. Um, as you guys know, I'm Shelley Wolf, um, station manager. And first off, I'd like to thank you all for being here today um, to celebrate the PSTV studios, but also our students. They have done a fantastic job. Uh, a year ago, I came here from Silicon Valley to the city of brotherly love, and it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Uh, every day that I get to work with all these students, it just is such a blessing to learn from them and to watch their horizons expand. And it's just, I, I can't even tell you, and today is a very emotional day for me, so please forgive me if I start tearing up. Um, but PSTV has taken a massive transformation from our website to building curriculums to a new mission to hands-on learning experiences to really um, building this brand new space where students can come and get industry hands-on training, meet with industry professionals, as well as have access to these new media technologies. And through the belief of the superintendent and the Office of Technology, I'd just like to take a moment and thank um, Dr. Height, Melanie Harris, and Bob Westall for taking the opportunity to really understand the needs of our media and how important it is to our students of Philadelphia. I'd also like to thank a lot of folks today, but my list is quite long, so I'm going to take a moment and really uh, I need to thank the Titleist volunteers, Philip Enchinaga, Rich Bateman, and Frank Makos for jumping in right at the beginning to keep us on air while also providing us a mission to grow a student-driven station. Um, without them, I wouldn't be here, and without them, the students wouldn't be here. As you see today, all the students are running everything. They have come in, they've had five training sessions to literally get up to speed, run the show, and put the 
the station together over the last couple weeks. So com big congratulations to them. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank our city council for the new franchise agreement with, uh, with Comcast because without that franchise agreement in place with Comcast or Verizon, none of this would be possible. So thank you very much for making that happen. PSTV's new mission as a student-driven state-of-the-art mixed-media production studio it has already generated many successes. The work began with a student logo contest that we launched earlier in the year. We created a new logo and presentation IDs that were supposed to be up on that screen, but unfortunately are not, so we'll show them later. But there is a program ID that's for K through eight and uh, nine through 12 that students created and that you'll be seeing on our programs as they air on the channel. In February, we began running student content over the airwaves. All this content came through our CTE programs, our WHYY media labs, as well as other media programs that are in our schools. In March, we started our partnership again with WHYY to launch our first after-school program. Through this after-school program, we had the opportunity to test all the equipment, but have the opportunity to really get students the real feel of what it was going to be like to be in a studio. And many of them came back today to be part of the adventure. So we want to thank them. They created eight independent pieces that have aired on the channel from start to finish. And uh, they'll continue airing on the channel as they create more content. And this summer, we had the exciting time as we continued to build out our studio. We had a handful of interns from the CTE program. We also, they spent thousands of hours logging thousands of tapes. So <laughs> in the back room, if you have not made it to the very back yet, there's another whole other section of our studio. And there was almost 30,000 tapes that the students had to get through and log those tapes and get them moved out of the room. So now we have a beautiful presentation room back there. And uh, again, it would not have been possible without their help. But they also got the chance to get hands on training, meet with industry speakers that we had come in through the summer as well as work with our youth media um, team and work on their team building and leadership skills. We had the unique privilege to also work with KYW, WHYY, the Rendell Center, and the DNC Host Committee to produce the Youth News Team program that started this summer, where there was 30 students that were funded through the Philadelphia Foundation as well as the Knight Foundation. And through that, those students learned how to be journalists. WHYY instructors came in and taught them all their skills, and we provided the space and provided them the opportunity to have their stories heard and stories seen. All of it was based around the election. It's running now, so you'll be able to watch those on the air um, up until the election time. So again, all works done by students that were middle school and high schoolers. Um, we also had the opportunity to work with the Mural, Mural Arts Summer Program. The Mural Arts Summer Program provides opportunity for students to get involved with art and create beautiful art pieces. These students hadn't met each other. They got, came together for one week, and the mural that's outside our front door is just a testament of their hard work and what they came to us with to celebrate our studio. So again, I would just like to take this opportunity that as we launch this station, besides ramping up our training opportunities, we'll be starting our after-school program again this week, as Craig mentioned, with a brand new show that will be a, a variety show as well as a, a news program. So students will be bringing you news about PSTV or about their schools through PSTV. And they will also be launching a new show. There's a new show that's going to be called the PSTV Community Spotlight, which will highlight community leaders. Those community leaders will start with the city council members and other leaders in our community. So don't be shocked if you get a call from one of our students wanting to be interviewed and hear what it's like to be in your career in your field. All that to be said, today is a very special day and that we make our existence known not only to the public, but to all the students throughout Philadelphia and that they are here and have the opportunity to come and have hands-on experience. PSTV provides a resource like no other where they will garner the hands-on experience in a state-of-the-art studio, studio that is being having access to industry professionals as well as industry contacts. They'll get training, internship opportunities, and job opportunities. PSTV is just at the beginning of leading the way for other districts to build a model mixed media arts career and college ready programs. And we hope that too, we will be able to present that. Partnerships is what makes this all possible. I'd like to thank a few of our current partners, the School District's College and Readiness Program, the CTE Program, the Office of Arts and Academics, the WHYY, Penn GSE, DASH, CCP, Temple, as well as Comcast and Verizon. And as mentioned, none of this work could be done without you. Our partnerships are very important to us, and we look forward to growing that list so that our students can continue to have the resources that they need. Wow, I feel like I'm bottom-winded. <laughs> I have a lot to say, but again, I can't thank you enough. 
Shortly, we're going to hear from a few of our students who've had the opportunity to be part of the beginning phases of PSTV as we know it today. In 2017, we will begin launching our PSTV pop-up studios. Uh, they will be mixed media art programs that will be in our schools and will continue to grow those for students that may not otherwise have access to them. I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart for coming, taking a moment to be here. I really ask you to thank all of our students here today. They have worked very, very hard. Um, our, we have CTE students here from Dobbins and Ben Franklin that have food and snacks for you in the back. We have students in, that brought us entertainment from the FLC Universal Language Band, Gerard Academic Music Program, as well as Kappa. So they saw some music up here. There's going to be tons of live music back in our back room. I'd also like to thank our dedicated vendors, Telview, Horizon, and Troxel, for always taking my tireless calls to make sure uh, our technology is working, even as of this morning. <laughs> so we want to make sure we're staying current, and they've been giving us the most current tools possible that our students can learn on, and this is just an amazing resource for them. So I thank everyone that's here today, and I'd also like to now take this opportunity to introduce one of our students who's had the opportunity who I got to know over the summer. He uh, is a very talented young man. He's been around today taking lots of photos. And uh, his name is Michael Gray, and I'd like to invite him up here to kind of share his experience of what it's been like to be a student here at PSTV. Right. I guess I'm the photographer now. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, my name is uh, Michael Gray. I'm a graduate from the CTE program. I graduated from uh, Northeast High School located in Northeast Philadelphia. Uh, I graduated from the AVID program. Uh, AVID is a technology multimedia program that teaches students about film and video, graphic design, web design, and also game design. It's a lot. <laughs> By graduating from this program, it taught me and showed me discipline in the career. So it was a lot we, all just, we uh, gathered um, within the three years we uh, were taught this stuff. It has uh, also given us, um, me and other students, experience in, uh, on um, real life working experience, in, on the field, excuse me. Um, to also uh, add, at the end of uh, every uh, year uh, of the CTE course, uh, students have the ability to, uh, <sighs> I'm sorry, uh, ha also have the ability to uh, take a cert certification test. So like Adobe, Photoshop, like anything, anything that certified, you can get certified in basically. So uh, after graduating Northeast, I had an opportunity to work at PSTV doing summer internship. While interning, I learned a lot about, I learned a lot about uh, <laughs> how to maintain <laughs> and show how uh, you maintain, maintain a studio, work in a studio, and also uh, use equipment in the studio. Being in the studio, uh, like this can only do one thing, and that's grow your skills. So throughout the summer, my, my and my other, me and my other uh, coworkers or uh, colleagues, how you want to call them, we uh, did a lot of work. So we fixed up the back. <laughs> Took a long time, but we did it. <laughs> also, uh, we have the opportunity to work with uh, the D the DNC youth youth news team. And we worked with uh, those kids for maybe about two or three weeks, and it was great. It was really good. We had opportunity to talk to a lot of people during that time, meet some people, and uh, create some good video. It was fun. Um, while we were doing it, uh, we also learned a lot. We also used our skills we learned from the CTE programs throughout the course of the year. So that's how we got a lot of videos done. Um, all the students, we trained uh, how to use cameras and the microphones. Then we taught them uh, basic uh, camera techniques. Uh, as an intern, we got to help with the new equipment, such as uh, DSLRs and GoPros. We also recorded promos for the station. When the internship ended this summer, I uh, had just begun uh, my next phase in uh, college at the Art Institute of Philadelphia, but I still wanted to stay connected with PSTV. So then, uh, I followed up, I uh, found out that college students can, can work here as interns so, um, and use uh, the equipment in PSTV. I was very excited <laughs> when I found that out. So um, I couldn't wait to go to college at that point. <laughs> it's like, I'm ready. <laughs> so um, 
yeah, I'm in college now. I enjoy uh, coming back here, helping out, um, do as much as I can. And I'm, I just enjoy it. And I learn, I still learn here. I got a lot of knowledge. And um, yeah, I'd like to pass the mic on back to Miss Wolf. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I don't think I'm a good photographer, but at least I tried. So <laughs> anyways, now we have the great opportunity to hear from another student. Um, Fasaka Bunn is from Franklin Learning Center. Uh, Fasaka is actually going to come to us live over the airwaves. So hopefully we'll be able to hear in here. We were having a little technical difficulty this morning, but um, we get the opportunity to uh, speak with her. Um, if you, I also just want to point out, if you did not get one of our little brochures as you came in the door, we have tons of these. Uh, these just kind of highlight a little bit about who PSTV is, and it's a special thing to everybody that came, so um, just make sure you pick one up so you get a little bit more information about PSTV. So now at this moment, I'm going to turn it over to Vasaka. Hi, Vasaka. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So my name is Vasaka. I'm a senior at FLC, and um, to speak a little bit about myself, I really love the film industry, and I've always loved the film industry since I was like little. And that involves like on screen and off screen. Um, so I remember when I was 13, I started training for acting. I went to acting classes and I took film classes as well. Um, but then high school came around and I didn't really have the time for it. So I was a drama major freshman year, but they took drama out. So I didn't really have an outlet to put my creativity in. But we got um, WHRY Media Labs uh, last year and a film club, and I got the opportunity to also work with PSTV last spring on their first like after school program. Oh, yeah. And I got to be one of the like producers with um, a huge group of like super talented young Philadelphia students. And we made a show called Really Show and Tell that uh, Mr. Santana and um, Shelly talked about. And, but it was just a really great show because we, we made content to revolve around um, students' media all over Philadelphia. Um, and we all kind of did it together. It was our first time ever doing something like that. So we all were kind of figuring things out while doing it. So before we could even work on the TV show, we had to learn the equipment. And if you're in the PSTV studios now, you can see there's a lot of amazing equipment such as you know, for trade cameras and teleprompters and green screens and a great recording studio. And just to be a student and going into that space, it's it's so amazing for my creative like my creative mind because it gives me so much I so many ideas and um what's also great is that all the instructors and all the people there are so sweet. Like Shelly is so incredibly sweet and she's so passionate and wanting to help all of the, you know, youth really be creative and put out content that they believe in, that they are passionate about. Um, and she also opened my eyes to all of the things that you could do in the film industry. Like there isn't just director and actress, it's, you know, it's a wide world of like floor manager and lighting and this and that. And it really helped open my eyes personally to all the things that I could do. And I know that opened the eyes of a lot of other students that you know, otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity if this wasn't here for us. Um, so like I mentioned, I was in the PSTV after school program and I got a chance to produce my own media. Um, I created like this cooking show um, with uh, four, uh, four other students and um, we taught how to create like healthier foods and better options. And that's something that I was really passionate about and at the same time I could be creative with it. Like I basically got free power to do what I felt was right, um, which I thought was such an amazing opportunity for me. And it was really an environment for me to thrive because I feel like the people that were surrounding me had the same mindset and the same goal and the same passion that I did. And the product that came out was so beautiful. And um, it was really something that helped me out and really pushed me through because I can't really be creative in school. So um, talking about its school, I have this news program called Bobcast that I do at my school. It's basically where we showcase all of our news 
in um, video format. So it's basically our little like news station in school and we've been doing it for a year now and we used to use like the Canon Vixia cameras and then we switched over to the Canon DSLRs. So we've been like progressively getting better like in terms of our scripts, our anchoring, our like editing and all of that stuff. But now we're planning to use the PSU studios because they're open for all of the Philadelphia students to use. And so we're gonna use the studios, we're gonna use the green screen, we're gonna um, use the editing software they have and the great cameras that they have there to have a better quality um, product for our school to see and to show them that we are really capable of doing so much. So I just wanna say how thankful I am for having the opportunity to be in PSCD and the opportunity to connect with so many young people that have the same mindset as me and also to meet a lot of adults and individuals that want me to thrive and want me to, um, you know, be able to use my creativity the way I want to. So, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for um, having me here to speak because I didn't know I was that important to speak. <laughs> But I just wanted to say thank you for the opportunity. And once again, my name is Osaka. Um, so yeah, bye. Bye, Fasaka, and thank you, and thanks to Michael as well. Let's give them another round, please. A round of applause. Now we've come to the time where we have the official ribbon cut cutting ceremony and so we're going to cut the ribbon and then afterwards I want to invite everyone to walk through the studio, the classroom and the back room um, and in the back room I think there are refreshments prepared by the students from Dobbins um, and then there is their musical performances also that will be both in this room and in the back room. F Franklin Learning Center is in the back and then in here it will be it will be Kappa, um, who will be performing in here. So at this time, I'm gonna call um, all of the individuals who were named <laughs> as a part of a partner or support, if you would come forward so that we can cut the ribbon. We're cutting the ribbon here, right? Yep, yep right here. <laughs> Shelly should come up here as well. Michael, definitely come up, and are there any other students? 